Some people love to cuddle, while others avoid it at all costs. But the cost of avoiding cuddles can be very high indeed, including everything from higher blood pressure to increased anxiety and lower libido. So the next time your partner tries to wriggle out of a good hug, just tell them some of these real reasons why science says you should definitely cuddle more. Hi everyone, I'm Olaf, and I like warm hugs. You feel happier. Paul Zak is a world-renowned expert on oxytocin, which he calls the moral molecule. It's also known by another name, though, the cuddle hormone. That's because one of the best ways to get your body to produce and release oxytocin is through physical touch, especially hugs and cuddles. Recent studies have shown oxytocin affects everything from social recognition to orgasms. According to Zak, the higher your oxytocin, the higher your happiness. That's not all it can do, though. Oxytocin has also been shown to relieve pain, and it's even clinically proven to reduce anxiety. All of which just goes to show that if you want to be healthier and happier, the first step is to give a loved one a big, long hug. Your immunity gets a boost. Imagine going to your primary care physician and instead of a flu shot, the doctor gives you a hug instead. Cuddle party! <laughs> It sounds far-fetched, but according to a study published in Sage Journals, it's actually scientifically sound. In the study, over 400 healthy adults were exposed to a virus that causes the common cold. Some of these adults received hugs while battling their colds, and it turned out they recovered faster. And the more hugs they got, the less severe their signs of illness were. Neat! Your libido increases. If you've relegated cuddling to a strictly post-coital activity, you're missing out because it's actually great pre-sex as well. That's because, according to Dr. Renee Horowitz, OBGYN and owner of the Center for Sexual Wellness in Michigan, cuddling helps with the release of dopamine, which is an excitatory hormone that increases sexual desire. So cuddling actually helps you get in the mood to begin with. Your blood pressure lowers. High blood pressure is bad, as it can lead to everything from hardened arteries to heart disease, kidney damage, and even brain issues. But while diet, exercise, and meditation are the usual remedies for high blood pressure, it turns out cuddling also helps a lot, especially for women. As part of a study published by Biological Psychology, 59 premenopausal women had their blood pressure checked before and after being embraced by their partners. The result? The women's blood pressure went down, while their oxytocin levels increased. What's more, the greater frequency frequency of hugs, the lower resting blood pressure. Start hugging, everyone! Your heart rate slows. In a study conducted by the School of Medicine at the University of North Carolina, couples were split into two groups. The first group was instructed to sit beside their partners and hold hands, then watch a romantic clip and hug for 20 seconds. The other group didn't do any of that and just sat there. Both groups were then asked to talk about a stressful event or situation. The couples who didn't cuddle experienced a drastic rise in their blood pressure, and their heart rate increased at a rate double to the first group of hugging partners. The case for cuddling is strong. Get your hug on. Cuddles are so important that in 2014, an app was developed to connect people who wanted some non-sexual platonic cuddling. Called Cuddler, the app struggled to explain to users that it wasn't about sex, just consensual cuddling. It was eventually rebranded as Spooner before going defunct. So what can you do if you don't have someone to hug? Well, try getting a dog. Researchers in Japan measured oxytocin levels in over two dozen pairs of dogs, and they're humans. Over the course of 30 minutes, the participants talked, petted, and looked at their pets. When the researchers checked the oxytocin levels for a second time, they found that the people and dogs who looked at each other most often had a substantial increase in oxytocin. Which is great, because oxytocin expert Paul Zak recommends getting at least eight good hugs hugs a day to make sure your oxytocin levels remain high. So whether it's a partner, a family member, a beloved pet, or even a stuffed animal, just remember, any time is a good time for cuddles. Get hugging! Thanks for watching! Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love, too!